おはよう、ダンチェーノでーすそっと<笑> Isn't that cool? First of all, I'm working on the banners for the vlog channel. So, everything's gonna be set up, you're gonna be able to see what I'm favoriting, liking and stuff. Some of you are already doing that, I, I'm, I'm, that, that's really neat and because there are a lot of you who do that. I have to make mention of something. I, 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 just, I was just told about this from a guildy who came over to the server. He's, he lives in Japan and he's like, have you heard of this guy called Hard Gay? And uh, he's this entertainer in Japan and he, uh, he's affiliated with this um, TV show. And so I, I think I liked a video about Hard Gay and uh, I, find it, I find it very funny. So I just wanted to let you guys know What's going on there? Hard okay. <laughs> it's just, it's goofy shit. Today is errand day. I gotta run out and do a lot of errands. Well, not really a lot. I figured now would be a good a time as any to show you guys what the building looks like. Just because I said I was gonna do that and I've been putting it off. Um, this is the style that the building was built in. And see where it says the sign it actually, underneath that sign, it says Franklin High School. But, uh, I mean, you can see how old this is. They've got, there's rust, I mean, going down this stone from this iron light that used to work. That one over there. So, yeah. This is what I like about this place. It's, it's still, like, it still stands as a solid brick structure. Similar to the buildings uh, from downtown by the, uh, you remember when we were over by the train station over there? Same type of building. Uh, same time frame when they were putting up stuff, like early 1900s and junk. This is the second high school. No, this is the original high school. No, I'm not really sure. There is another building uh, over there on Washington Street it was, it, when I went to school, it was Washington Middle School. Um, and uh, when my grandmother was going to school here, it was Washington High School. So I'm not really sure exactly what's going on, but, you know, which, uh, which building came first. But, it's a rather old place. And there's two wings. So it's shaped like a V, if you can imagine that. So this wing is the residential wing. Actually from here over is all apartments, all that way. My room's right here and then and there's two floors and everything from here over is uh, commercial which is like a few businesses right here and then the entire other half of the wing and then uh, there's shit in the basement and what else? There was um, we have the gym in the center, so it's like a V, but like right in the middle of the V is this square, and that's the gymnasium. So yeah, I mean, I know uh, I haven't shown this off for a while, but yeah, that's it. It's a pretty old building, and that's why I like living in it. But some of you are right, it kind of does look like a jail, <laughs> other than I look at it, but you know, it's that close to houses. Fuck. There's some smokestacks right there. That's where that uh, downtown railway station is right there. So it's just right there. So everything used to be a part of... This used to be like the nexus of the city back when Brainerd was young because downtown is just right over there. And that's a working water tower. The other one, the other one that you've seen that's shaped like a castle doesn't work. The commercials out here are so stupid. They have this commercial for getting an alarm service and the commercial is like the husband and the wife are packing everything up and uh, somebody rolls up in their car and honks the horn and says, Hey, are you guys going on vacation? Then the husband and the wife are like, What? Who are they? And then they just lean in and go, Because we're planning on robbing your house tonight. You know, like some sleaze voice and shit. And, 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 the, and the woman's like, Okay, I'm, I'm calling an alarm service. Like, yeah. And then the whole point of the ad is, People want to rob you. Get an alarm. Like, what the fuck? Serious for seriously? Um some of you have been asking, actually a lot of you have been asking where uh my next PvP video is. Well first of all, 
If you haven't seen it, TGN World of Warcraft has my first PvP submission to them, which is more or less an introduction to the people who don't know me and a bit of PvP for you guys since I haven't really been PvPing, well, making a PvP video for you. It's Fury PvP, but here's the thing. I mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again, and this is why I love having the vlog channel, because it keeps me connected with you guys, those of you who are interested and whatnot, when it comes down to my PvP production. I want to make my next Fury video and a Mortal Strike video, but I want to get 2200 first, and I want full purples first. That way I'm showing you maximum damage. Maximum. And I know a lot of you guys are like, no, Dante, we like your videos because, you know, we like them just the way they are. You don't need the best gear in the world and, and whatnot. And I go, that's fine. But you know what? I'm also inspired by other warriors to make warrior videos. And Kleinda's video of him just raffle poning people with double landslide as Fury with two heroic weapons in full PvP gear really gets me excited to make that video. But we've got to get 2203s first. And that's a little difficult on Yuzira because Yuzira is a PvE server. But I have, with my excellent communication and social skills, recruited a Death Knight from a server called Lightning's Blade. And he he is, he's well, this guy sucks at driving, first of all. Get the fuck out of my way. Second of all, uh, this, this Death Knight is very geared. Um... He has almost all of his purple gear, which is great, because he's over the amount of gear that I have, which means I don't have to really worry about a whole lot of stuff. And he's skilled. He knows his class. We chatted with him. Me and Necro chatted with him. And you know what? We're very confident that we can take Priest, Warrior, uh, Death Knight to 2.2K. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to have to do as far as uh, close to end game, you know, close to 2200 strategy. If I'm going to have to go arms for a few games in a row, depending on the comps we're fighting, or if he's going to have to go unholy. Um, he really likes Frost right now because of Frost's damage output. And I like Frost because uh, Chill Blaine's Chains of Ice three second route. It's kind of awesome. I'm really confident that we could pull some shit out. If you want to go look up his armory, it's our boss, A R A R B O S S on Lightning's Blade the Death Knight. I'd link it, but um, I didn't actually get his permission for you to stock his armory. So if you can manually find him, go ahead and manually find him. So that's what my plans are. I mean, as much as I would love to just make a video now, I don't even have all my purple gear that you can just get being 200 rated so i want to i want to make quality videos for you guys and share them on tgn as well so that's what i want to do plus i want to stick to my tradition of making my fury videos that i be, that i make so um that's just something to, to keep your mind on in the future until then i'm just going to be pvping on gear breaker and uh somebody suggested to me that i should try to go for the bloodthirsty title which i was like I thought, damn, you know, that that would take a long fucking time. Uh, is it impossible? Not not really. I just I it's I have over a hundred and I'm about 120,000 honorable kills away from that achievement, and I'm only at about 130 honorable kills. So yeah, that's a long goddamn time. Uh, I'd be lucky to get that title by the end of the year. I'm not really playing my Shaman all that much anymore, or the Mage, I'm just playing on Gearbreaker just because Fury is so uh, fun. And, um, but yeah, don't worry guys, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making a video that just, you know, requires some gear and stuff. Ah, uh, internet. I just heard an ad for something called Troll Beads that apparently are like a, a new thing for um, jewelers to be selling or something. And the guy's like, troll beads. Each bead has its own individual story to tell. Yeah. They're all fucking assholes. I thought I'd seen some pretty shitty parking jobs in my day. But this almost takes the cake. Check this out. This is where I'm parked. There's a line. I'm parked. I'm, I have, there's space. And this guy's parked like right on the fucking line where you are allowed. This guy has so much space, like, right here. 
Look at this. Fucking unbelievable. Un fucking believable how much space he's got. Oh well, only at Walmart, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Ugh. Just terrible. Damn it, I broke the freaking lanyard part of my keys. The part that goes in there. Obviously, I broke it twice because this one's red and this one's black and white. Walmart doesn't sell lanyards. They sell every other type of third world sweatshop bullshit, but not lanyards. Rest in peace, lanyard. That's the only way I'm gonna remember to get a new one, is it, unless I tie it onto my steering wheel. Um, Zagozo, 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 Zagozo. Hear that? You he did you hear that noise? My car has been making that noise. It sounds like something is falling off underneath the back part of my chassis. Like my exhaust or something stupid. It sounds like something's bouncing. Hey, Hardcore Gladiator, PvPers, Dante in here, and I have a secret special message for you. Sometimes, when PvPing, we don't like to wear pants because it's really fucking uncomfortable. So, my suggestion to you is this. Hakama. Yes. Hakama pants. What are Hakama pants, Dante? I'm white and I don't understand Japanese. I thought that World War II was over a long time ago. I'm also ignorant and stupid. Don't worry, guy. You may be 2400 plus, but I have a pair of comfortable pants that you can even get your hands on. All you gotta do is use the internet. Ready? Hakama pants, otherwise known as kendo pants. These things are goddamn comfortable. I've been wearing them for five years. That's the truth. Ever since I started playing WoW, Actually, when I, when I graduated from, uh, when I got my black belt in karate, I had to go and study a different martial art to uh, do my test. So because it was American karate, American Kenbo karate, it's a mix of judo, wushu, kung fu, and um, karate, like traditional Japanese karate. So we try to branch out and be a melting pot, just like America. And what I did was I went and I studied Aikido for about uh, two months, came back, um, taught a little bit to my peers, and in my test, I explained how it deals with the sun and the moon and balance and junk. Um, it's a really cool martial art if you're interested in uh, throwing people and using people's energy and momentum against them. It's really awesome. But I had to wear formal Aikido attire, which was just getting a pair of Hakama pants for myself to wear. So, these are like the samurai pants. They're not like hammer pants, let me show you. See, they're not exactly like hardcore pants. They're just, they're like the, they're like the samurai pants or the uh, pants you wear in kendo, aikido, that sort of thing. Super comfortable, and I've been hearing a lot of that, where a lot of these like high-rated people feel like, you know what, I don't like wearing pants when I do arena. But you know what? It doesn't even matter how comfortable your pants are. If you're not prepared to fight certain comps, your butthole is just going to shrink up just like this during some fights, no matter how loose and comfortable your pants are. So just get used to it. All right, three hours to go until the, the live stream. I just sort of noticed that I've been saying the time's wrong. He's seven hours ahead of me and I'm central time. So he's six hours ahead of Eastern time, so it's noon and three. Noon Pacific, three Eastern. I feel like a retard right now, but whatever. I'm an hour off, so what? I don't fucking care. I gotta return this chair too. Just heard something. Uh-huh. Get inside quick before you get pulled into conversations with people that you don't like. Okay. What the hell is this? I don't know who sent this one either. I think I had to guess. I think I know. I think I know who it was though. She mentioned that she was gonna send something else along with the uh, crystal lights. Oh my gosh. Some hardcore tape. Yep. 
Yep, it's from it's from her. What the fuck? Ha ha ha! Look, check it out. It's a it's a tri oh tripod, action tripod. Oh, there's two. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why are there? Why is there two? I gotta return this other one. It seems she wasn't supposed to send me two. I'm gonna. I'm gonna thank you now before I even open it up, because I'm gonna have to fiddle with this. I'm glad I have time before the live stream starts. That way. I saw it falling. Do look, look, look. The box, it won't stay straight up and down. It'll just... You you better fall this time, you piece of shit. Look, you stick it there and it just falls. I guess not. Fine. Look, you look like a jerk. Um, thanks again. All right. It's like a desk tripod or you can, you can attach it to your bike or to your helmet and stuff. It's going to come in so handy because, like, I have... If you can see where, the, see my, where my tower is, this little tiny server right here. I could put a camera right here, and it's just in line with my chair and everything. Damn it, so nice. I don't know what to say, thanks. Thank you. It's gonna improve the quality of the vlog a ton. A ton! I mean, I wanna know what you, I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, you guys, you don't have to send me this stuff, and I'm not, here's my thing, here's the thing. You don't have to send me anybody, not just, not just her. This is a message to all of you guys. You don't have to send me anything, but just know that if you feel like doing this, I'm not gonna say no, cause I, I'm not one of those kind of people because I know what it feels like to give somebody a gift and then have them go, well, I'm too good for you, you know? It's gonna come in handy so much. Um, so anyway, you guys need to go to her channel and thank her for the camera, if you haven't, for the crystal light that she sent and the tripod. Go there. I don't, I don't care. I've heard complaints, oh, she's got one video of, she's got Elemental Slayer. I don't give a shit what her video has on it. You go there and you thank her because she's, she's making the vlogs better and she's volunteering to do it. It's so nice, thank you so much. So I just talked to her and she, she did what people do. I'm gonna mention this to those of you because um, it's really helpful information to know. If you're ever purchasing anything, for example, if you go to Dantane.com and you buy a shirt, only click once on your purchase so that you know you're only ordering one or, you know, if you're only ordering one so you don't end up ordering two, that's what happened. She ended up ordering two because she double clicked the button. I'm just gonna, I picked randomly and I'm just gonna keep this one. This, this one, I don't know how it's different from the other one. I mean, I looked and I didn't see a difference, so. I will make sure it gets shipped to you tomorrow because it comes with a pre it comes with a sticker and you can just tape, I just don't have tape to tape it up with and junk, so. Um, thanks again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip it out and just, I'm gonna use it today. This is sick. She actually suggested that I use it to film the vlog with instead of using my hand. One second. Well, I've, I've sort of figured out how to work it. So this is, this is what it is right here, right? And then these legs pop out like this. And then you can set it up like this. And that's the tripod of it. Okay, and then you can you can adjust this right here, forward and back, left and right. But this is actually what uh, tightens it. So, like this can be super loose or super tight. So just sort of tighten it up. What I'm gonna do is push it forward just a bit. And uh, oops, I'm gonna try using it the way she sh that she suggested that I use it for the vlog. Just, I mean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the end of this and I'm going to hold this out and see if it uh, does anything different. I mean, this would look really silly in public, but um, I'll try it just for like today and see how it works. It's probably going to look way better, but the, 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 the Velcro straps are kind of annoying to hold it like this with the Velcro straps because you're holding Velcro. You're not holding the, the plastic part, but um, for uh, you, you fold the legs up into these little spots here that are covered up by the Velcro. And that's how you attach it to things like bikes and, uh, and, and stuff and junk. But uh, let's try it. Let's see if I can get a, let's see if I get a grab of this. How's that look? It probably bounces around a whole lot because, well, 
It's a third party thing. I don't even know if it's straight. Let's see. Eh, feels straight. It's probably, I'm, I'm probably way farther away. I think I could get away with doing this in the apartment, but if I were to do this outside in public, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. It's, it's, it's hard enough when people are like trying to, they're just, they just think you're crazy when you're holding a camera and talking to it anyway, but when you're like actually holding an apparatus, I don't think it's a completely terrible idea to do, but um, it is definitely getting distance. I can't wait to see what this looks like. It probably looks way better. But then again, if I had to like show you something, it's a little harder to turn the camera because my arm, like my arm is in just the worst possible position. It's like this and shit. I can definitely show you things that you normally couldn't see. Is it dirty in there? Is it dirty inside there? What's in there? Okay, anyways. Um, I love it. Thank you very much for the tripod, Botan. I, uh, I definitely, I'm definitely in your debt. It's gonna be super helpful. And it comes with like a two page manual because obviously it does two things. <laughs> and half of it's in French. So, I only need this page. <laughs> and, it's, and it's specifically for the flip, which is insane. I don't know. I could, uh, oh, yotta, yotta, check it out. That's so cool. Like, I could, I could, like, do this and film, use it to film. It's just, this camera has no viewfinder, so. It's harder to, uh, it's harder to actually um, see what I'm filming, but anyway, what do you think? Do you guys like this or not? I might do this more inside the, inside the apartment, of course. I'd still be a little turned off to doing this out in public because it just seems really weird to do this, but I love it. I can put it up right. I want to test that right now. It's like I sit in my chair here and tilt this up a bit and straighten you up, put the tripod here and then go like this. And that seems to be good. And then I can do things right here. Hell, I can PVP and record myself. Just like what I'm doing right now, chatting with the guys in the live stream, waiting for this to turn on. Got 20 minutes until it starts. I, I, the possibilities, like just having, having the one, having the one, having two, just having two cameras still, I mean, is cool. But now having a camera, having two cameras with a tripod, is even better. It's just even better. I want to watch this. I want to take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so I've heard that um, there's new warrior crap on MMO for the patch, so I'm going to check it out. And there's new crap every day. It's just, you know, what do you do? Do you fucking go and show up and take a look at it constantly or what? Let's see. Precision now increases auto attack damage by 40% in addition to 3%. Hit. Um... Why not? I don't really think I have to explain this. I mean, if this was old WoW and your auto attack damage calculated into how much rage you got, then this would be awesome. But uh, it's just a damage increase. Yeah, you'll still miss a lot. Now when you get double misses, you'll be like, fuck, those could have done 40% more damage if they would have hit. I don't think hits the problem. I think the flurry change kind of solves the problem with the hit. My next video that I'm going to make is a, is Fury PVP spec glyphs why why not and uh, what was it? What was I titling it? One second, I got it right here. Uh, why why not and why it works. <laughs> All right, so it started. It has started. All these people are in there chatting it up. So if you missed out, you you missed out. Sorry, I, I said the time's wrong, I don't care. Like I said, the very first thing I said was you better know Danish time. Elite BBQ Orc, man, shows up out of nowhere like on a European realm and then people are like, whoa, dude, what the fuck? If you miss the stream, you're missing out. Hey, hardcore gladiator, PVPers, Dante in here and I have a secret special message for you. Sometimes when PVPing, we don't like to wear pants because it's really fucking uncomfortable, so,